<clears throat> hey guys, Clint Hall with Alternative Athletics here, and there's two things I want to cover. Um, I had a conversation with uh, a gym member this morning, and it took place in several little bits and pieces throughout the morning as he was working out, but um, it was something that I really felt needed to be covered by the gym at large, and it's something that um, we all need to hear from time to time. So the two main ideas is that knowledge without implementation is wasted. So we all need to, we know things, you know, might be a foreign language, might be how to balance your checkbook, but you never do it. Or it could be the fact that you gotta go to the gym and knowing that and doing that are two different things. And sometimes, even though you know you need to do it, it's hard to do it. And the other thought too is that uh, no matter what you are doing in life, whether you're at work, or you're at home, laundry, mowing the lawn, going to the gym. Discipline always trumps motivation. Motivation is fleeting. Um, that's a very catch thing to say. And what I want to do at this point is figure out how instead of just saying these phrases, discipline trumps motivation, how can we make that work so that we have knowledge with implementation? All right, and, and this is gonna be different for everybody, but we're gonna to toss some ideas out there. So the first thing is, you have to know thyself, right? What makes you work? Um, there's been different times in my life where I've said that if I didn't have a goal, then I would never work out. Um, that could be I'm doing martial arts, I wanna be the best martial artist I can, so I work out to be a better martial artist. That could be my buddy talked me into signing up for a 15 mile Spartan race and I do not want to fall off a single obstacle, so I work out, so I do this Spartan race. Um, but instead of just goals, for me personally right now, the motivation is actually other people. And by other people, I mean my grandparents. Uh, I have, uh, of my four grandparents, three are still alive and I lost the, my first grandparent very recently. I'm 44, and uh, they seem to be passing in their very late 80s. So if I already know genetically that most likely I'm going to end up pushing 90 degrees, or 90 degrees, 90 years old very hard, what do I want my quality of, of life to be there when I get there? So, so right now, no matter what, I do not want to slide back. I do not want to be feeble. I've said this to many people, I don't like working out, but the idea of not being able to cover my corner, handle the things life throws at me, that is terrifying. That's my my motivation. But that doesn't work for anybody either. Like, like that That's not for everybody. Maybe people in your family pass early, so you're like, ah, oh, there's no point then. Um, or it's just not enough to get you going. And so the third idea, is instead of setting a goal, instead of relying on others, a workout partner, the people in your life that you don't wanna be like, instead of negative reinforcement, consider it positive reinforcement. Say that this time, this time I allocated at the gym, this is my time. This is when I can shut off my phone, nobody can reach me, this is what I'm choosing to do. And even if some days you take and you decide that that time is when you're going to make a journal entry, paint a picture, whatever. Just the idea that you get that window every day that's yours. And what do you want to do with that window? All right, guys. Best of luck. Have fun. I hope things are going great. And as always, if you have any questions, look me up.